So this uh, video is uh, going to use Zytica as a talking point for how your body handles drugs. Most drugs that you take by mouth are, or intravenous are eliminated by the body, by the kidney uh, or by the liver. Kidney into urine, liver, uh, the drug can be secreted in the bile or more commonly destroyed in the liver. In fact, liver destruction of drugs is pretty much the standard for uh, most of the agents we use to treat cancer or the drugs we use for side effects uh, of that treatment. Uh, humans uh, excel as omnivores, we damn near anything, uh, especially when you consider uh, us compared to the great apes from which we're closely related. Uh, we've been able to populate the world because of uh, this tremendous ability of our liver to handle uh, the indiscretions of our diet. And uh, as an example, I'll use the chocolate. Uh, so two and a half ounces of chocolate is likely lethal for a 22 pound dog. But for you, it's just a pleasure, maybe a mild stimulus. Why? Because uh, the active ingredient chocolate is cleared by your body in 30 minutes and 17 hours for the dog. Uh, it's this metabolic capacity we have to take all sorts of things that might be poisonous and get rid of them that are the reason we've been able to conquer the globe, one of the reasons. So there are two key pathways in the liver to think of. One is called CYP3A4 or CYP3A4. Sorry, it just doesn't have a nice lay term. That accounts for 50% of all drugs. Uh, and the other is 2D6, CYP2D6 which is 25 percent. Uh, now what's interesting is that uh, there are more than 20 versions of CYP3A4 but it doesn't seem to matter too much because they all work roughly equivalently for most of the drugs we'd be dealing with. But the 2D6, very different story. Uh, and 2D6 is critical for Zytega metabolism. And here the genetics make a profound difference.